Hi content creators of all kinds and welcome to an updated video on how to separate your music from your game audio or even your alerts. If you are a returning visitor, thank you for coming back and you know I already did a video on this topic about two years ago and you liked it. However, in two years things change. So here's an updated version fresh for OBS Studio 30.2 and beyond. If you like these kind of videos, please smash that like button and subscribe to my channel. And with all of that being said, let's dive in. First of all, why would you want to split and separate your audio into several tracks. There are multiple reasons. One is freedom of editing. If you have your different kinds of audio content separated, you'll be able to edit each track easy in your post-production. Let's say your voice track is too loud and the game is too quiet. Separating enables you to change this. Another reason could be you decide to run Spotify for some background music and don't want to have this included in your VOD on Twitch as you fear your VOD might get muted. Or if you want to edit the volume and effects on the one sitting there in the Discord with you. So let's do some basic setup. As a sample, I have taken a fresh installation of OBS Studio 30.2. Though it will just work with any updated version, you don't need a new installation. The setup is on Windows, it might differ on Linux or Mac OS. First of all, you add your sources which you want to have. Now OBS Studio has this wonderful feature called Application Audio Capture, which basically removes the need of running virtual audio cables from all of your apps to voice meter and whatever. In this sample I'll be adding Spotify to my sources and I do this by selecting which window I want the audio to capture from. As you can see OBS Studio is directly detecting audio on that source. Now I can do this with any other application I have, for example Discord, Dixper or even my game. So we will add our game as an audio application capture to our sources. However here is the big change which managed to get into OBS Studio. You can now also use the option capture audio inside your game capture settings. This will create a new audio source for you which can also be set up, meaning you don't need to add an extra audio application capture source when using the game capture, which should make things a lot cleaner. Okay, this was step one. Next step is assigning our sources to the tracks we want them to land on. To have each on different audio tracks, you will need to access the advanced audio properties of your mixer. Here you will be able to assign each audio source to a certain audio track. For this sample, I will have track one as my summary mix containing just everything and track four as my VOD mix containing only the audio I want to have for example in my Twitch VOD. Okay, we are almost there, one little step is still ahead of us. So step three, the stream and recording settings. Jump into your settings, head over to output and make sure the output mode is set to advanced. In the streaming tab, you will now be able to set which audio track should be your live mix. In our sample, it would be audio track number one and enable the Twitch VOD track and which one it should be. In our sample, the Twitch VOD track would be number four. Under recording, you can set which of these audio tracks should be embedded into the video recording. Make sure the right file type is selected. While hybrid MP4 should work, it is still somewhat experimental. Personally, I tend to use Matroshka, but that is totally up to you. And that's it, you should be set now. Now a little extra hint, how do you separate your alerts? For example, you have a browser source where you'd like to have some audio filters on or you want to define in which audio tracks these alerts should be recorded. Pretty simple, when editing the properties of your browser source, select Control Audio via OBS. This will add the browser source to your mixer and you'll be able to manipulate it like any other regular audio source. Obviously, when wanting to stream, you will need some extra prep time. I usually take 5 to 10 minutes and then set up my game capture to the game I'm going to play and check if OBS Studio is detecting the audio. But the advantages are way higher than the 5 to 10 minutes time invest. I hope you found this video helpful and if you have any questions, feel free to drop them into the comments below. I will try to answer them, though I'm not an OBS Studio developer, just a casual content creator. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.